Hello, this is a tutorial for Apex Clothing, and this will go over how to get clothing assets from Maya into Unreal 3. The first thing that we want to do is look at how our, our layers are set up in Maya. So I've set up a CTDM layer and a coat layer and a cape bones layer. This character doesn't have any cape, so you can just leave that layer turned off. So let's go over to our hypershade and look at how these materials are set up. We have two materials on the crash test dummy for the head, hands, and feet, one for the body, and then one for the trench coat. Maya will automatically give these unique material IDs upon export, so you don't manually have to do that here. That's only for Studio Map. And we can see here that we've got some, some good simulation on our, on our coat. So let's go ahead and put the character back in bind pose. And we'll go over to file, export all. And the first thing we're going to do is export the FBX, which will be used as the skeletal mesh in Unreal 3. So we're going to go ahead and navigate over to where we want this file to be exported in our file dialog. And then we're just going to double check our FBX export settings to make sure smoothing groups and skin deformations are included. And since Maya is Y up, we're going to go ahead and export to Y up as well. And now what we want to do is go over and go to export, export all again. And this time change your file type to physics. And we do not want to export the physics scene, so we can leave that off. We want to export Apex Clothing. We want collision holes. We want the model space enabled, and we want to omit the mission. That we want to omit the mesh name, which is essentially just going to keep the the file name from having the the mesh name appended to it. And we're going to export this in APX. And I like to export in APX since it is essentially an XML file, and you can go back and you can look at it or troubleshoot it if need be. And you can see here, this is what our APX file looks like in Notepad++. It's just XML. Now what we want to do is we want to take our packages that we've included in our Maya tutorial and put them in a place where UE3 can see them. So go over to UDK game, content, test packages, make an Apex folder, and make a clothing folder, and then go ahead and drag your packages over, just as seen here. Now that we have our stuff exported from Maya, we want to bring it into UE3. So as you can see now, we've got all of our packages preloaded. So if you right click in some empty gray space in the content browser, we can select our FBX and APX files. We're going to make a new package called ctdm underscore maya, and then we're going to group the FBX file under mesh. And we're going to say OK and let UE3 process that. All the default options are fine. And now we've got our APX file, so we're just going to change that name to ctdm trenchcoat underscore m underscore clothing and give it a grouping of Apex. Now we've got our assets in the UE3 and it's a good time to go ahead and save our stuff out. And while we're doing this, it's also worth noting that with the materials, any material that's applied to Apex clothing needs to have its usage flag set to use with Apex meshes. If this is not set, then your clothing will not simulate. Let's open up our skeletal mesh, which is ctdm trenchcoat underscore m, and let's go ahead and add the materials to the material slots. And under base materials, go ahead and select the body material, and this will go in the third slot, or material ID number two. I'm sorry, material ID number one, it goes in the second slot. And then the head material will go in the last slot, or material ID number two. And then the trench coat will go into material 
ID 0 or the first slot. And now what we want to do is open up our Apex as clothing asset node. And you can see it has a material slot as well. And we're going to go ahead and put the trench coat material in there. And this is so that while the physics clothing is simulating, it knows how to draw itself. This material, this Apex clothing asset, needs to go in the corresponding uh, clothing asset slot as the material. In this case, it would be slot 0. Let's go ahead and save our package again. And if we go over to our skeletal mesh, then you can see we have a simulated trench coat. And if we go up to our, our animations and set the anim set to CTDM tutorial movement, then go down to our animation sequences, we've got a few sequences to test our new clothing with. And that will conclude bringing a clothing asset from Maya into Unreal 3.